Here's the moment, and the guy right in the middle there in the blue shirt, Dallas City Council member Tanel Atkins, had some help cutting the ribbon at that new spray ground at Kleberg Riley Park, which is on Ed Road in southeast Dallas. Imagine this moment today for these kids. Oh, yeah, drink it in, buddy. Atkins said it was an important thing to do, something special for these families in this community. And for many, many years, the citizens feel like that the city of Dallas is not putting a fair share investment in this community. And right now, we are doing it. So the spray ground is open. It is free for everyone, and they will be open, we are told, every day from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m., and they will do that through September, which is a good thing to do, especially on a day like today. Mr. Jeff Ray, they opened right at the right time. Doug Dunbar, I'm telling you right now, just in time. I, we have some serious heat this week, and I'm serious that it is going to be one of those streaks of weather where we get 100 degrees every day, and just about every day we have heat advisories out as well. Right now, not so bad. It is a hot day. I mean, temperatures in East Fort Worth, 95 degrees. Not a whole lot of wind give us any relief. A little haze in the air, a few pop-up clouds, and a few showers. I'll show you a second, but temperatures about where you would expect them this time of year. We're in the mid 90s across the Metro Plex. If you're wondering what's going on down in uh, Palestine, well, that's uh, 80 degrees because of some rain that's been down there. That's about the only relief from the heat you can get other than the AC, the shade, or the lake or the pool because the rain is far and few between. Let's zoom in over by Rockwall County where you see how that shower just gave up. And now we're waiting for maybe a few more pop-up thunderstorms here across the rest of the afternoon and early evening. I wanted to show you a really wide view because there is no fronts headed this way, no low pressure system moving into North Texas. Tomorrow from the heat of the day, we do expect some pop-up thunderstorms again. Coverage about 10%. So that means 90% of North Texas not getting any rain tomorrow, you'll get some cloud cover. That'll keep temperatures again below 100 degrees at, less, uh, at least. By the time we get to Wednesday, however, we remove rain chances, and we're talking about more sunshine on Wednesday, and that's enough to get temperatures into those triple digit highs. Now, that humidity, it's oppressive today. We got dew points in the low 70s in many locations across North Texas. I want to keep you on this darker green, this shade of green, because this is now. We'll run it forward in time here a little bit into Wednesday, and notice how it's still over us. And by the time we get into the afternoon, yeah, it's about the same. Dew points tomorrow. Going to be in the upper 60s to around 70. As we run forward into Thursday, notice it gets a little bit better, just a little bit better. As it dry, as it warms up, the air will get just a little bit drier, but we still are going to have some problems with the feel like temperatures getting near the advisory areas. I'm running forward temperature forecast. Let's go all the way into Tuesday. Tomorrow afternoon, you got 97 for an afternoon high. That's not going to sound so bad when you look at what happens when we get into Wednesday when we start talking. Talking about triple digit highs. Look at them all the way across the board, all the way across the weekend and into the start of next week as well. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more news.